Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another print quality test video. Today we got the HP Envy 6055 and this is actually the 6055E model. We're going to be using HP Premium Plus photo paper uh, and we're also going to be using uh, the new iPhone 13 Pro Max uh, to be printing from. That's our print from device and that's where we're going to be adjusting our settings and everything like that. So hopefully this video ends up being helpful. If it is, make sure to like. If you have any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. We're going to be printing four different photos. And what you want to know when you're printing photos is that you really need to adjust the settings on the device that you're using. Even if it's a smartphone, you want to take that device, go into the settings, go into the presets, and you need to adjust that. Whether it's a MacBook, whether it's a PC. And the cell phone, you're going to see here that we're going to adjust from plain paper to photo paper. And to do that, you're going to go click on the icon that has your printer, printer name on it. And then you're going to go right into the settings of that printer. You can see here you're going to go into tray and paper. And in this section, at, at the bottom, it's going to ask you for paper type. That's where you're going to change from plain paper to photo paper, at least photo paper. And if it gives you some other options, then that's great too. But you're going to want to make sure that you're using that um, setting. Now, all of the products I end up talking about here in this video, uh, including the HP photo paper, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, uh, the printer that I'm using, there will be links for these products in the description below. So if you want to check pricing, if you were making a buying decision, or if you just wanted some more information, go down to the description box, click on those links for whatever product you're looking into, and uh, it will take you to a page that will give you more information and an option to buy. Of course, this video is sponsored by those uh, product links, so your support is greatly appreciated. So I really couldn't recommend the HP Smart App more. It is such a good app. It's, it's, it functions really well. And it has a lot of different options, settings. You really are going to want to use this, especially with this printer. It's going to be very, very highly uh, capable with the HP Smart App uh, versus using some other device or some other method. The best method I have found is with the HP Smart App. So here's the print quality. Uh, you can see uh, for yourself here on camera. And I can tell you, just like it looks on camera on your end, it looked just as good in person. So you are a little bit limited with the type of media that this printer supports. The type of paper you're going to be able to print on is plain paper, HP photo papers, HP matte brochure or professional paper, HP matte presentation paper, HP glossy brochure or professional paper, and other photo inkjet papers. That's Canon, Brother, whatever other brand you're using of photo paper, it's going to do just fine with that other matte inkjet papers, other glossy inkjet papers, and of course, light slash recycled paper. So you have a lot of different options there. Uh, of course, what I would do is stick with the HP photo paper uh, just because they match up pretty well. But if you have no other choice but to use another company, uh, Canon, for example, is another photo paper that I use very often in these videos, uh, then go ahead and do that. There won't be an issue. It's compatible. So what I try to do in these videos is get pictures that have a wide variety of different colors, a wide variety of different things going on in the pictures so that you get a good overall sense of the print quality. And I will be honest, most of the printers that I have reviewed, they have good print quality. The differences are how fast does the photo print. Sometimes there's, there are differences in the, in the depth. Uh, you know, some printers are a little bit more advanced and can bring out some of these details a little bit more, and some uh, don't do as well as others. But uh, this printer, I would say, fell right in the middle, and I was very surprised because, you know, HP Envy uh, being, you know, the basic printer that it is, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. Uh, for the price, it is excellent. Uh, but there are some pretty high-priced printers uh, that you're going to get about the same print quality as far as when you're printing photos or any other uh, media when it relates to printing uh, pictures on those types of media. So just so you get another little background on these types of printers, these HP Envy's, is you only have two ink cartridges. So the quality being the way it is, is, is 
very impressive because you have a black ink cartridge and then you have a tricolor ink cartridge. And I will tell you, being in the industry, the HP Envy is going to be a very reliable printer. So you can see here all the different colors. It's very vibrant. Now quickly, there was information I missed on the unboxing video. So if you're watching this video and you're coming from the unboxing video, know that this printer does print double-sided does print double-sided and you're able to have in your paper tray a hundred sheets at a time another great thing with this printer is you can connect multiple devices so I'm using my iPhone right now your kid could be using their iPhone or their laptop um, you know another family member could be using uh, another device and everyone can print from the same printer so I hope these pictures are giving you a pretty good idea of the overall and general print quality that this printer is able to produce uh, you see that we have you know a variety of different colors going on here uh, and you see that the printers are taking quite a bit of time to print that's the one thing i will point out the pr if you want to print photos with this printer because it's not a specialty printer and it's not geared towards photos it's going to take longer but you see here look at the quality you're going to get the quality uh, at the end of the day, that may be all that matters. Or it could be that you're looking for something that's more photo oriented. Most likely this printer fits your needs and the fact that it's able to do really well with photos ends up becoming just an extra perk. So hopefully that's the case. Hopefully this video was helpful. Again, if it was, please make sure to like. If you have any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Also, remember all of the links in the description below of the different products that I used in this video or that I talked about in this video. Your support is greatly appreciated. So that's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.